Hey guys, what's up? It's Dragoon here. This is a really late and really tired video, but it's something I really wanted to talk about uh, as quickly as possible. I wanted to get this put up. I just got home from work about 45 minutes ago. It's like 2 a.m. right now. Like This has been one crazy day. Let me tell you guys, it's been super busy, super crazy, super stressful. And I came home, uh, I, read, I very quickly skimmed this article when I was at work. I'm going to talk about it in just a second, and um, came home and I just, I started doing errands around the house, take, getting things taken care of that needed to get taken care of, and I took a break to um, make this video for you guys, because I want you guys to hear about this. <clears throat> this is from, straight from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Konami blog, big, big changes to booster packs coming next year. Um, they said that they the last big change was in 2010, as you can see, where they changed the odds of getting a secret rare, but holy crap, this is going to be huge. So let's start, just take a look right here, so starting with Breakers and Shadow, every single pack is coming with a foil, it's either going to be super ultra secret, it's kind of cool to be honest with you, they're doubling the rate of ultra rare, so instead of 1 in 12, you're going to get 1 in 1 in 6, Doubling the rate of secret rares instead of 1 in 23 is you're getting in 1 in 12. And it says keep in mind that the 1 in 6 and 1 in 12 ratios are average, power millions of packs, and you know it's going to be twice as likely to have ultras and secrets in them as it is currently. But of course, none is guaranteed, you know. Stuff they kind of have to say. And of course, as usual, they'll all come with a regular rare card. So you're getting a foil, a rare, and seven commons. This is awesome in my opinion, um, before I even get on to the rest, which is right here, this is great, because there's already so many stupid short prints, stupid rarity bumps, like maybe Konami should have addressed that instead, but I digress, so many stupid things that make playing decks, like I have a good friend, he wants to play Cosmo, you know why he can't play Cosmo right now, because a bunch of this stuff is foil, he can't afford to pick the cards up, because he doesn't play that competitively, but he really likes the he really likes the deck, so he just plays it online. So in that sense, Konami's missing out on money, because if the cards were cheaper, if he had a higher chance of getting these cards, he would buy the packs, he would buy the cards. And so, and I'm the same way, I stopped buying packs, I don't know, almost a year ago now, I just quit. The next thing I'm going to get is going to be um, one of those Megatons, I think that's next week, this week, just because Norton's in there. It's the only reason I'm going to be picking one up. Um, I, I just, I don't do packs anymore. And maybe this might change it for me. Because, like, it just wasn't worth it. I have terrible luck with booster packs. I, I, went, I got second place at Locals this past week. I won, like, six packs and I pulled one foil. Like, it's freaking terrible. Moving on. Um, because they say they're manufacturing a lot of extra foil cards... They gotta change something else so they can, you know, keep the price of the packs the way they are now. And so they're changing ultimate rares. You can no longer get them in packs, and they can only be get uh, only be pulled in astral packs or tournament packs, in other words. And so I think that's, I mean, that's kind of upsetting in some ways. Uh, ultimate rares were my favorite rarity, but and then they kind of changed them. I think they're kind of, I, I don't know, I don't really like the way they do them anymore. So it's whatever doesn't matter to me. There's no more ghost rares, for the most part. Which is actually really disappointing, because I like ghost rares a lot. <laughs> um, as you can see, it says there's a 1 in 288 chance to get a ghost rare. I pulled a ghost stardust, and I flipped out when it happened. Uh, so I think that's pretty crazy that it's really that low. I did not know that. Uh, so the first time this is going to actually come into place is the new set High Speed Riders, which comes out in October. Um, and then everything after that will be broken down. High Speed Riders is kind of like a preview of this. Dimensions of Chaos is going to come out in November, and it's going to be the way it is now. And then in January, when Breakers of Shadow comes out, everything changes for good. So I definitely want to know what you guys have to say about this. I think this is this is big news. I think this is good news for the most part. Like I said, there might be something I'm not I'm kind of overlooking, but in general, I think this is good for the game. So. As of right now, kudos to you guys, Konami. I support this for sure. <laughs> Who knows, maybe it'll get me to start buying packs again. I used to love buying packs. I just, I can't afford it right now. And I, I don't see that changing, but 
maybe every now and again I can pick some up because it's fun. Buying packs can be fun. Um, so yeah, please leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this. I really want to talk about this. This is this is really important news for the TCG. But otherwise, I gotta get back to doing stuff. I have a bunch of crap to do, and I gotta be up in less than seven hours to go to work, and I'm probably not gonna be in bed for another two. So it's gonna be a big, big busy day. So with that, I thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.